This episode of God Powered is dedicated to Miss Johnston, Jack's amazing seventh grade science teacher. Thanks for all you do, and thanks for being a listener. Now, we're going to look at something amazing, and we're going to see how what the catalyst was for Moses becoming one of the most amazing leaders of all time. And he didn't start out that way, even though he grew up in Pharaoh's household. He didn't start out that way. In the catalyst, in Exodus chapter 3, Moses has an encounter with the living God. And in this encounter with the living God, God doesn't tell him, look, I've built you to be this, and you're going to be amazing. And I... No, God says this. God says, I have seen the suffering of my people in Egypt, and I have heard their cries, and I am coming down to save, and I'm sending you. And you are to lead them out of their pain. See, for you and I, God is saying right now, there are a people in this world that I absolutely love, and I have seen their pain. I've seen their oppression. I've seen their battles, and I've heard their cries. They're not necessarily crying out to him, but he's heard the cry of their heart. And he says, I'm coming down to save, and I'm sending you. And you are to lead them out of their pain. Now, Moses responded the same way I do, and you might do too. And that says, who am I? I, I can't do this. And then we see the first thing God says. God says, I'm going to be with you. See, when God sends us, when you, you and I respond, God's just not sending us. God said, I'm going with you. God wants you and I to be part of his plan. He's got this amazing plan, this amazing destiny, and he wants you and I to play an active part in it. We just have to respond by saying yes. But we do like Moses, and he, he doesn't just say, oh, who am I? But then he says, well, you know, I can't really do it. What if they won't believe me? See, he persists in trying to get out of it. And God says, I'll be with you. And then he goes on, he says, my power will be demonstrated through you. Now, we won't go into this part of the story, but you, you may know it where he says, put your staff on the ground. And God shows him some of the ways his power is going to be demonstrated. So God's going to be with him. His power is going to be demonstrated. But Moses persists and says, I can't do it. I'm not a good speaker. Now, God gets upset. We, we tend to overlook that piece of it. We kind of gloss over that. But God gets upset because, you know what? There's a people he loves out there. And they're in pain. And God's saying, hey, I want to send you. I want you to impact their lives. And in the process, you're going to become amazing. But you have to respond. And God says to Moses, I'm going to send you the help you need. And in this case, it's his brother Aaron to help him do the speaking. So when you say yes, God's going to be with you. His power will be demonstrated through you. And he's going to send you all the help that you need. Now, at this point, Moses finally does the right thing. And what he does is he doesn't go home and pack a bag to go to Egypt. He goes home. He gets his wife. He gets his kids. Basically, he packs up everything to go to Egypt. In other words, he's got the message. He's all in. He's fully committed. Now, as soon as he's fully committed, he didn't have to go look for the help. As he starts forward, fully committed to what God's called him to, God sends him the help. Along the way, Aaron shows up. See, God's already spoken to Aaron. God has already put the pieces together to let help you be, not let you, help you, make you be successful. The key to the whole thing is just saying yes. See, there's a hurting people out there. And God wants to make you an amazing leader. He wants to make me an amazing leader. And we have to say yes. And God, in the process, God's with us. His power is demonstrated. And he's going to send us all the tools, all the help we need. But there's one final thing. See, leadership isn't about us. It's about the people we serve. But we saw this in leaving Egypt. Remember, everything we go for, through, whether we understand it or not, is all about God being glorified. And so we saw this in leaving Egypt. When Moses is talking to Pharaoh, he doesn't talk to him about this amazing place God's taken his people. But he says, we need to go on this journey to go worship God. And he tells the people, yeah, God's got this amazing new life for you in this amazing place. But first, we need to go worship the living God. See, God is calling you and I 
to touch and impact a hurting world. And the first step is responding and saying, send me. And the second is leading them to worship the living God. This has been God Powered. I'll be with you soon.